Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, fellas? It's your boy Tristan, aka Sriracha DFS, back once again with DFS Karma. Welcome to another episode of NBA First Impression, where we do a very early preview of the upcoming NBA slate. The main purpose of the video is to highlight the totals of each game, who's favored, uh, give you guys an injury rundown for the games, and uh, who benefits, who takes a hit from it. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you do not miss out on any of our free media content or live streams. Also, make sure you're in our free chat room where we discuss things DFS 24-7 all day, every day. We also have Live Before Lock. It's a voice channel where you can join, ask questions in the chat, and the experts will basically answer it through the voice channel. And it's a fun time. We have fun. You guys get your questions answered. It's, it's, it's a great time. I mean, it's free advice. You can also get free articles, free picks, free plays in that chat room as well. ChatDFS.com, get in for free. Link is down in the description below. Enough of me talking. Let's just go. Uh, not enough of me talking. I'm basically going to be talking throughout this entire thing. But enough of me talking about the beginning of it. Let's talk about the slate. It's a uh, Saturday Sriracha Saturday slate, baby. Um, yeah, not much else to say there. It's a uh, eight-game slate. I uh, love that. Dallas at Washington. First game on the slate opened up at a 228.5 total. Dallas favored by 6.5. On the Dallas side, JJ Reddick questionable. Willie Cauley Stein out. Nothing really changes here. Washington side, Bradley Beal questionable. Daniel Gafford out. If Bradley Beal's out, Russell Westbrook and Rui Hachimura get big bumps. Um, and yeah, uh, something to note Davis Bertans is coming back. So. He's going to definitely take a couple minutes up as well. Minnesota at Philly is the next game on the slate. Opened up at 231 total. Philly favored by 9.5. On the Minnesota side, Ricky Rubio questionable. He got ruled out after lock. Just NBA things. Um, D'Angelo Russell's out as, as well. If Rubio's out again, Jordan McLaughlin got the start last night. And I think he did pretty well. So, um, definitely, definitely. Oh, he, he played 30 minutes. <laughs> Definitely in play again if Rubio's out. On the Philly side, Joel Embiid questionable. George Hill out. Monitor this because if Embiid plays, then you can give a uh, bump down to all these Sixers. On the next game, New York at Detroit opened up at a 207 total. New York favored by two and a half. On the New York side, Mitchell Robinson is out. Um, basically just a little bump to New Orleans Noel and Julius Randle. On the Detroit side, Killing Hayes is coming back. Chalula Okafor out. Rodney Magruder out. Basically bumped down to all the Detroit guards because Killian Hayes definitely going to take up some minutes. That's basically the, the guy that they they invested in that they picked this year. So they have high hopes for him. Next game, Cleveland at Miami. This game opened up at a 204 total. Miami favored by 12 and a half. Cleveland side, Larry Nance out. Jared Allen out. Dylan Windler out. Basically a bump up to Isaiah Hartenstein. Um, Dean Wade. And then uh, if Kevin Love gets his minute limit uh, increased a little bit, then I'd like him. But um, if not, it'll be Isaiah Hart and Cena Dean Wade. On the Miami side, K Gabe Vincent probable and Casey Okpala out. Doesn't really change much over here. Next game, Indiana at San Antonio opened up at a 224.5 total. San Antonio favored by 5.5. Indy is on a back-to-back. -back. Um, uh, on the Indiana side, Domata Sabonis is questionable. He left the game, did not come back with the ankle injury. Malcolm Brogdon's questionable. He got ruled out after lock yesterday. NBA things. Jeremy Lamb questionable, ruled out after lock yesterday as well. Um, it's big news if these guys don't play again, so I'll definitely monitor the situation. Um, hopefully they don't get ruled out after lock again, but I mean it's a 6 p.m. game or like it's a 9 p.m. game which is like two hours after lock so definitely could happen pretty poopy but we'll have to see on the san antonio side lonnie walker's out or dang out trey lyle's out and kata beta diop's out uh, kata bates diop is out um basically just a small bumps a small bump to the spurs guard uh guards and then uh jacob portal gets a uh, secure 30 minutes just because there's no gorgie dang and then uh, trey lyle's you know there isn't there to basically um play uh, the four minutes as well. So Rudy Gay gets gets a little bump, but uh, Trey Lyles isn't really in the rotation anyway. Um, next game, Orlando at Utah opened up at a 215 total. Utah favored by 16 and a half. Damn, Utah is on a back to back, but they played at home. Um, on the Orlando side, Michael Carter Williams is questionable. Terrence Ross questionable. Cambridge questionable. Kareem Main questionable. Cole Anthony out. Markel Fultz out. Gary Harris out. Oof, that is a full injury list. Um, I would definitely just monitor this situation. There's there's a lot of things that can basically go every which way. If uh, Ken Birch is out, then Wendell Carter Jr. is basically going to get all those center starting minutes with Mobaba backing him up. If Terrence Ross is out, then you have people like Dwayne Bacon who's going to get minutes. Um, 
if, if Michael Carter Williams is out, then RJ Hampton is going to get minutes again. And then you have Chasson Randall who could get uh, point guard minutes and it's just all over the place. So definitely monitor it. And then on the Utah side, no new injuries that really affect that team. Next game, OKC at Portland opened up at a 227.5 total with Portland being favored by 11.5. Both teams are on a back-to-back. -back. On the OKC side, Lou Dort is questionable. He did not play yesterday due to concussion reasons. Mike Muscala out. Darius Baisley out. Um, Al Horford out. Shea Gilgis Alexander out. Basically a bump up to Theo Maladon, Alex Edge Pokushevsky, Isaiah Roby, and then Moses Brown. They all had pretty bad nights last night. Um, besides, I think Theo Maladon. I think Theo had some... Yeah, he had a crazy game, scored 33 points. Insane. He carried that team last night. Um, so definitely a look there. But uh, it's, it's it's tough to play someone off a career night. I, I think it's really tough to play someone off a career night. Uh, it's hard that they basically replicate their same or like at least like a little bit of a uh, de digression towards their, um, their previous game. So just a hint of advice there on the portland side this year little out zach collins out nothing really changes last game milwaukee at sacramento opened up at a 239 total milwaukee favored by six and a half both of them are on back-to-back -back games um milwaukee side no injuries nothing really to note sacramento side hassan whiteside's out he did not play yesterday and marvin bagley's out as well um if hassan whiteside's out basically bishan holmes should just you can just expect them to uh, get very secure minutes unless it, this is this game blows up by like a huge amount. Then you'll see uh, Metu come in. But really, um, Rashawn Holmes is that guy. So that wraps up this first impression video for the upcoming NBA slate. If you like the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, I mean, we have daily free media. We have live streams. We have everything. So uh, PGA, uh, MLB, NBA, just all the main sports right now. When NFL comes back, we're going to have that sh too. <laughs> I appreciate you guys all for watching. And as always, it's been your boy Tristan, a.k.a. Sriracha DFS. Good luck in your contest tonight and have yourselves a good one. Have yourselves a good weekend, man. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Peace.